Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to show you how my Unity Auto APK updater is working. So for you guys who don't know what I'm talking about I recommend you to click over here to watch uh, a previous video in the same series. So for you guys who know what I'm talking about just keep watching. So this is a package which will be downloaded uh, archive with the game with APK file and this is a link to text file uh, you know it's a pointer itself which shows uh, at the newest version of the game uh, at the moment so and here we go this is my uh, copy.com folder on my hard drive disk which contains uh, the file, text file with the uh, newest version. It's the old version of the game, APK file, and it's a new version of the game, APK file, which will which will be downloaded. And also, I have here the old version of the APK file with release notes and new version of the APK file to with release notes and also I have my phone Android device plugged to my PC and we have here Android folder data folder and it contains my you know cop com dot vulgar style dot auto update folder it's a data folder for my Android application and this folder folder contains folder files and folder games inside of folder files and this folder itself uh, will contain APK file, but for now this folder has only one text file, it's game version. And this file, it's a kinda release notes, this file contains only a single line of text. It's 0 0.01, which means that we don't have any version of the game installed on our device not installed uh, downloaded to our device as APK file so you, you can see that and please keep in mind you know that we don't have APK file in this folder now let's do the following action so we are going to point uh, our uh, seeing you know the script to the package itself, the package itself, and uh, the latest game version text file. So let's just do this. We will test with old version of the game. Let's just uh, click copy actions, copy public link, and insert it over here. Now let's uh, copy our old version zip file. Copy public link and insert it over here, not here. And now let's save this as let's see. Click file, build settings, add current remove you, remove you, and uh, build and run new version, let's give a proper name, 18 August 15, 11, 33 AM, test 2, enter. So it will compile our APK file to our Android device, but it will be an updater, it will be not actual application. So now I will show you how it's working on our Android device. So I'm using Android screen monitor and it's not very uh, you know fast way to show you how it's working because it's kinda uh, you know 5 FPS or maybe even less than 5 FPS. Also I'm going to say that this uh, variant, this way I'm going to use in this video, it's not automatic. So 
I, o I only download APK file and user has to, you know, install it manually. And to do this automatically, you have to go to google.com and type the following search request. Unity 3D start activity. Activity. And you will find the way how to make it work automatically on your Android device. So I so APK file will be installed automatically or at least launch it automatically. So let's wait for a couple of uh, seconds, I believe. So it's going to push this content to my device, Sony Xperia SP25i. And for how long I'm recording this video? Five, six, six seconds, six minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's wait. I could cut this episode, but I think I should not. No, I should not cut it because it's a very natural process. And I don't know why it takes so long. And also, it's very important to note again, it's very important to note that I have uh, an internet connection enabled on my device. Because to uh, check, you know, whether there is a new version available or not, you have to have internet connection. Okay, now it's starting on my Android device. And let's have a look. So, and it will say, it will say that I don't have any version of the game installed. It should say this. On start. And then it will propose me, hey, What's about, you know, downloading a new version of the game? And I will click yes, download, and it will download this APK file in a zip archive. It will, okay, now let's have a look. I will do this now. Orientation. Okay, look, just checking whether your version is up to date or not. So you don't have any version of the game installed. Click to install the new version 1.0. You know, one. I'm going to click this button. So I click at this button, and now it's going to start downloading this archive for me to my Android device. Then, then it will un, you know unzip this archive and put. APK file into my folder. Okay, now meanwhile, let's go to our our project and make some changes. So now let's install a new version of the game. So let's let's do this. Copy a public link. You can see that it's it's working. Uh, Paste it here and take you copy actions, copy public link and paste it over here. Paste. Save. And uh, we are almost there. We are almost there. Okay. Almost, almost, almost there. And now let's go to our folder, to game folder, and have a look at the contents in this folder. Okay, we are almost, almost there. I'm waiting for 100%. It's stuck for some reason, but it should finish it already. Okay, I it's done. Now it's 100%. And it will propose me to play my game, but because of, you know, Windows nature, I mean, Microsoft Windows nature of this application, it will not work here because it's Android. But I'm going to show you that it's working pretty good on my uh so it extracted this APK file to my Android device. Let's go to our S file explorer 
and I will show you that it's working pretty nice. Pretty nice. So it should be there. Okay, now we have it installed on my Android device. You can see that, you know, old version dot apk. Okay, okay, now let's install and then new version of the game. Now let's do this again. Build and the, and in this case it's build and run. So you can see it, right? So game version, let's check the game version of the game. We have downloaded to our device. It should be 101. Hey, <laughs> yes, it's 101, right? And now you can install your APK file from your Android device. It's old version. Now I will remove this APK file manually. And you will see why. Okay, we are almost done. Pushing new content to device YT9 144490. What's a strange code name for this device? Okay, and actually that's all about this video. I will show you now that it's working uh, pretty nice. I will prove this for you, prove this to you, and we will finish recording this video. It's already pretty long video. And once again, once again, uh, if you want to make it really, really automatic, so user will not, uh, you know, need to uh, launch APK file manually, you should learn about how to do this. Start activity. So you will have uh, to download Android Studio or Eclipse and do this manually through the Java. So this article should help you in this. So this is a very quick solution. It's uh, how many how many years old? It's it, it's about uh, it will be one year old solution. We're soon in uh, in 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 eleven days, less than two weeks. So okay. Now let's have a look. Let's do this in uh, landscape rotation. Orientation, sorry. And we have it. Unity. Okay, now. Uh, poor trinkle. And, 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 and. It will say that there is a new version. It's one point twenty one. It should say that. Okay, now it checks for the new version. The second you 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 don't have ah it says that you have outdated version of the game uh, okay now let's uh, click button to update our game you have outdated version of the game and I will show you this in script it's somewhere here you have the latest this one so you have outdated and it takes the installed version string and shove shows this message to you. And now let's okay now it's downloading uh, the newest version of APK file and it will put this in our folder. So this is how it's working. So user user even uh, you know user is free of you know such actions. So this application does download this APK automatically, and and also it it replaces this APK file automatically, but it's not launching this APK file, which is pretty sad. Let's wait. Oh, this moment is so long. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay. I tried to do this for a very long time. You know, make it fully that fully download to my Android device, and it's not and it's not working nice with this service. I used it before, so this work service is not very reliable for for Android. And Dropbox is also not very uh, reliable because it will block access to your account if there are many people who download your file. Okay, it says that uh, look, so you had hold a second, updated old version uh, so I will mm, this line okay, so extracted and installed the newest version of the game. It's uh, if you had no game before. And now it says extracted and updated old version. Old version 1.01 to newest version. And it takes the latest version of the game. Here we go. Okay, my mission completed. Hey, <laughs> hey, I did it. I did it. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good one. Bye bye. Bye bye. And have a good time. See you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. And now my step number two is to make it work automatically. So make Android, uh, you know, this application activity launch another activity. But maybe you will do this, not me. Yeah. yeah. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. Doop de doop de doop.